Studio, and today we're going to be doing a really fun tutorial to Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley. Don't leave. Don't leave. <laughs> Obviously, you saw the name of the song in the description and you clicked it, so you were curious at least. Don't leave. Um, this version of this song is probably the most beautiful version of this song I've ever heard in my life. I know you're like, a beautiful version of Never Gonna Give You Up? Yes. It's a stunning cover. Please give some love to the cover artist. His information is down below. He has lots of covers that maybe I will use for these videos because it's just, he's truly incredible. So check him out, info's below. Also, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll talk, to the, we'll talk about that more later. I said it in the beginning, isn't that weird? But I feel like it's a good reminder for the beginning. Hit that subscribe button. All right, anyway. Um, so yeah, this is an advanced tutorial. It's got lots of little tricks in it. Also, the rhythm is tricky itself, um, even though the song is a bit slow. I choreographed it to the original because I know you're going to want to tap this to the original, not the cover, even though the cover is great. So some of the rhythms that we're going to do today don't quite match the cover, but they do match the original perfectly. So it'll be fine. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Oh, this is advanced. If you're looking for something a little bit more beginner intermediate, that is down below, so there's a link, but let's, uh, let's get ready to get into this. All right, so it starts on and a one and a two and a three and a four. That's the rhythm, and a one and a two. So it starts before the one. You've got falakiel, falakiel, and a seven count rip. So nice and even, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. So that's a right seven count riff, so you got that five count riff, and then heel, heel. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. From there, your left foot's free. You have a back essence, or spank pas de bure. So that's brush, step, 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 or spank, step, step, step. Double pair of little stamp. So just a little dig spank before you dig spank. All right, so falakio, falakio, and a seven count rip, spank, pas de bure, double pair of little stamp, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and five, and six, and a seven, and an eight. So it has a very similar rhythm. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. tutorial that I don't want to split into two parts. Sorry, just turning my computer back on. Um, I don't want to split this into two parts unless I absolutely have to. It's a very long tutorial, so we're going to have to learn it in big chunks. Let's do that one more time and then we'll go on. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Good. Your right foot is free. You have four syncopated drawbacks. They are fast. One e and a two e and a three e and a four. And you end with a toe. So it's step, spank, heel. So these drawbacks do start with a step. I know that is odd for some of you guys. That's okay. So think about it as step, three drawbacks, and the last one, instead of a step, you end with a toe. If you need to think about the drawbacks starting with the spank, it's totally fine. So it goes step, spank, heel, step, spank, heel, step, spank, heel, step, spank, heel, toe. That's the pattern of it. Step, spank, heel, step, spank, heel, step, spank, heel, step, spank, heel, toe. The step is where the accent is. But it's like way faster. So let's try that. One E and a two E and a three E and a four. Five, six, seven, eight. Good. One more time. Try to make sure that your heels are coming out as loud and clear as the rest of it. Because I know we tend to be a little soft on our heels sometimes. So put more of your weight right here so that your heels can make that even sound. All right, five, six, seven, five. Good. To finish this phrase, it's ball change, pull back, toe stand, ball change. So you pop up to both toes, hold for a second, ball change. It's... This is a hard song to 
same at the same time. I can't believe I know the words, but actually I can totally believe that I know the words. Uh, I, I used the whole tutorial to Rick Roll, you guys. I'm sorry, but you're welcome. <laughs> All right, so that part is and five, six, and seven, and eight. That's the timing. And five, six, and seven, and eight. So you're going to hold seven up there. If you need to do something other than a toe stand, like let's say your knees are like, hey, we're not doing toe stands right now, or you're just not comfortable with toe stands yet, that's fine. You can pop out to a heel stand instead. So you just pop out to here, ball change, instead of going up on your toes. That is pretty much always an option. There is another toe stand in here that can't use that option, but I have another option for you. But anytime you just gotta pop up to, to your toes in my tutorials, you can substitute with a heel stand. You can also just substitute with horse arch. Totally fine. So you choose your, your alternative method of tap. I can talk today. You would think that I would learn to talk before I film these tutorials, but apparently not. <laughs> All right, so from the syncopated drawbacks, we have five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. Let's do that again. Five, six, seven, go. part one and part two on this one. Uh, all right, let's try it from the top and see how it goes. Remember the top was right into it. Your right foot's free. Okay, let's try it. Step, 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 
Single wing, step left. Single wing with the right, step left. So, if wings, if single footed wings are not your thing, you can always ball change and a wing chug. Okay? Ball change and a wing chug. Or just ball change and a wing. And nice and slow. Okay? But those are just the options. The actual choreography is that's on thinking of that part. Hang on, I can't sing it and do it at the same time, so I'll just kind of show you what the rhythm is. I know this is very out of order for my tutorial. Uh, you know the rules are so Okay. 
paradiddle stamp, stamp, paradiddle stamp, stamp. Five, six, seven, go. getting a little bit more comfortable. Just a little bit. Let's try it. Then you have an 
step, you have step. I forgot to write step. So, and then you have and a riff, spank cross, and then step. So I gotta make sure I don't go too far this way. So it's and a five and six and seven and eight. So you're holding and seven and you're holding seven and. That's what it is. So maxi forward is one and four and five and six and seven. You're holding five and six and seven and. You're holding seven and. Yes, I, I, I know this, I swear. So from the time step, you have one and two.
gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna cover this. All right, <clears throat> it's too fun. All right, so I'm gonna say second to last section. Maybe we'll see. We'll see how it goes when, while we're learning. All right, so you just did. So your right foot is free. You have a cramp roll. You are right on the rhythm. Never gonna give you up. Right on that rhythm. Step, step, heel, heel, and then stamp, chug, chug. Never gonna give you up. 80 and a one, and, and. So cramp roll, stamp, chug, chug, right cramp roll. Five, six, seven. And two, and three. Ready? Five, six, seven. Good. Paradiddle. So this is your never gonna. And now it's a toe stand, but I do have an option for you. You have toe, toe, step, heel, stand. That's quite have the never gonna let you down that like three notes descending but the original does so it really fits there so that's so you gotta finish that paradiddle before you go up it is really hard to sneak that heel in there but really try because otherwise without that you're missing part of the words you're missing part of the rhythm so let's try from crimp roll to the toe stand. Oh, the alternative option. I almost forgot to give that to you. So you have very little step, step, heel, heel, toes. Okay? So the alternative instead of is. Paradiddle step, step, heel, heel, toes, both toes at the same time. All right, so just in case you needed that, that's there for you. It makes the same exact rhythm, moves in the same direction. Um, I'm gonna keep doing the toe stand, even though it's really hurting my toe today for some reason, I think, because it's cold, but it's fine. Also, since Nutcracker, everything hurts. Everything hurts. Anybody else? Anybody else that was in the Nutcracker was like, everything hurts. <laughs> All right, so cramp roll from there. Five, six, seven. Good. Then you have step, shuffle, hop, step. So it's a nice military time step. Step, shuffle, hop, step. Step, heel, slap. That's never gonna run around and, or, Never gonna run around and so because there's no there's no note there. Kind of? You kinda of get it? Never gonna run around and ball change pull back and hurt you. Right on that. I it's to the words, so I have to give it to you with the words. So this whole section or that last part was I'll change so and five and a six hold seven. Okay? So just from the step shuffle hop step. Five, six, seven. Right away. Let's try that with music. 
This is not our first try. This is going to be just us trying it with the rhythm of the song without me singing it. That's what we're doing. Oh, so do I. Just from Cram Post Station, right? thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other guy. because it does fit the original a little bit better. But it fits enough that we can do it to this version. And enjoy this guy's amazing voice. So let's try it again. Just that part. You wouldn't get this from any other guy. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. I've got to make you Five, understand. Six, first time was like not my best take <laughs> but it's okay um the only part that really doesn't fit is the and around and he says that and on the slap he says that a little later than we're going but we're doing it to the original version in our heads so you can match this one or you can match the original it's totally fine I've got the original stuck in my head and I want you guys to be able to like do it to the original, like if you want to post it somewhere or something. Although I have a feeling this is going to end up in noise complaints rap. <laughs> it wouldn't be noise complaint if we didn't troll the audience with a Rick roll. Come on. All right. So let's do that one more time and then I'll decide what we're doing. How about, how about that for vagueness? Thinking of you wouldn't get this from any other guy. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Ready? I've got to make you Five, understand. Seven, Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Never gonna okay. make you cry. Never gonna say. Okay, so actually, let's go ahead and finish the whole thing. Let's take the chorus by itself as it is and learn that and then we'll add it to the whole thing. That way we can do this video in one video. So you just did. So your right foot is free. You do another cramp roll but not with the same ending. So it's step, step, heel, heel and then you have scuff, scuff, step. So, never gonna make you cry. That part. And then put your weight on that step. So, let's try that together. Five, six, seven. Never gonna make you cry. Okay? One more time. Five, six, seven. Never gonna make you cry. Then you have shuffle, diddle, shuffle, diddle, stamp, chug. Never gonna say so this is the only line that doesn't quite fit the rhythm, but you get the beginning and you get the end. So it's one, two, three, four, e and a five, e and a six, seven. four, e and a five, e and a six, and. That's that. Okay? So let's try it from that whole thing. Five, six, seven. Eight, 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 eight. Again. Five, six, seven. Good. Paradiddle step. Or paradiddle stamp. Ball change, syncopated wing, or pullback. Either one. Either one is fine with me. I'm going to do a syncopated wing, but if you're going to do a pullback, that's fine. It's basically the same rhythm because it's just like a flourish. Totally fine. Pullback or syncopated wing, completely up to you. So that's never going to... Wait, never going to 
make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie. That part, okay? That's never gonna tell a lie. Never gonna tell a lie, okay? Paradiddle stamp, ball change and away. Five, six, seven. You finish it off with ding, ding. So, and heard you. Okay, so let's try from paradiddle step, ball change and a wing, dig, dig, toes. Five, six, seven. And hurt you. Kind of? So fun. I love this. Now let's try it again. Five, six, seven. Five and six. And five, six. Hold seven, eight. So you're down on six. Yes. Okay. Can we try from... Can we try from there? From cramp roll, scuff, scuff, step. Let's try it. Five, six, seven. without doing the words. <laughs> like six takes, didn't work. So let's try that whole part with music. I would say let's do it again without music, but it's just, it's, it's really, really hard. It really fits the words so well. So let's try it with music a couple times, then we'll try the whole thing. We'll walk through the whole thing, and then we'll try the whole thing. So do I, a full commitment toward us. I think it's funny when I do that. 
<laughs> so you can laugh at me, it's okay. All right, from the top, we have full lap heel, full lap heel, and a seven count riff spank pas de boo, ray, double paradiddle stamp. So just jogging your memory. Right into the drum acts. So let's walk through this real quick, and then we'll try the whole thing with music, okay? It's a long combination. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Try it from the top. What's the worst that happens? It goes terribly and then you rewind, right? If only performances went that way. <laughs> if only performances went that way in the nutcracker, right? If only. Luckily, we had a second show so I could fix my mistake, you know? All right, ready? flying over my house right now. If you're new to this channel, I live pretty close to a Navy base, so there are a lot of airplanes that fly over my house. <laughs> All right, so let's try it again. Round two, I meant to say like, peace, yo, but it turned into round two. <laughs> All right, let's just try to get a little bit more comfy, okay? going into noise complaints rep. It's going to be my solo. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that funny, but like also really great. I'm totally going to do this as a solo in, in, our, in our next show. Oh, that's great. Okay, so that was our second time. That was the time to get all the transitions put together. We did okay. Let's try it one more time together. And then you guys can rewind this video and do it as many times as you want to. But one more time together. And now there's yard work. Thanks, guys. 
Thank you. All right, one more time together. We got this. Let's go. Maybe they hate the song and they just want to like drown me out. Fantastic. If this was too hard and you want to try the beginner intermediate, that's right down below. Totally fine. Also, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. We talked about this. Um, hit that subscribe button and join the TAP fam. We've got technique exercises, choreography tutorials like this of all levels, step tutorials, vlogs, challenges, yard work, you name it. <laughs> They're so loud. It's a Tuesday morning. It's like 8 o'clock. Go to work. <laughs> Wait, maybe they are a long guy. All right. <laughs> um, anyway, I hope you had so much fun. Um, and in addition to hitting the subscribe button, do not forget to hit the thumbs up because it helps other tap dancers find this channel. And this channel is all to give you guys free tap lessons, free tap classes, free tap tutorials. It's all free, so help other tap dancers find it by hitting that thumbs up button for me. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> and as always, Thank you for getting Rickrolled with me.